Hello, this is Gray Hughes of Gray Hughes Investigates on YouTube. Please hit that like button right out of the gate. I would really appreciate it. Share the video and subscribe if you like my content and maybe even consider becoming a channel member. Today's video is regarding one of Stefan Stern's ex-co-workers, a female. And I think the female is actually referenced in the 896-page document dump that was put out recently. And this is what she had to say. So what I'm going to be reading you here is my notes taken from what she was saying. She doesn't want her voice out there, doesn't want to say where she was working, etc. Okay, this is just um, my notes taken from a conversation that I had with her. She told me that they met at work, they were friends and were intimate a few times, but weren't in a relationship. It was a casual relationship for four months. So it was more of a, you know, kind of a sexual relationship, but they were friends. I guess they played board games together as well. And it wasn't really something serious, not somebody you would take home to your parents or somebody like that. So it wasn't a, a relationship where you're called boyfriend and girlfriend. And she said maybe they were intimate three times. There are a few things that I'm not going to get into because I'm a private person, she said. But because of the interaction... During those moments, I would never have thought he would do something like this. So I don't know what she's referring to there when she's saying this. Uh, what, what is she trying to convey that you know, during sexual moments with her, there were things that he was doing that he would never think he would do something like you know, uh, abusing somebody. He did say he was not normal. She started noticing some things. He talked about Maddie a lot and never stopped talking about her. She didn't notice the mark on his private part. She wasn't looking for anything, uh, she said. And then she said, when you're, when you're with someone three times, you don't really notice things like that. So, you know, it could just be that, you know, the positions that they're in, they're not really, you know, she's not in a position to notice something like that in those three times you know maybe it's been a long period of time you know you might start noticing something like that stearns was an overshare at work he told people he and jen were in an open relationship but was that really true you know i wonder if what stephen stearns told different women and his co-workers was just what he wanted them to know it seems like he was always manipulating people. And if he's in an open relationship, well, heck, then he can start seeing somebody else, right? I asked this coworker about Stefan telling her about Maddie and him sleeping together and him waking up with an erection. Stearns actually worded it as when he woke up, he would have a boner. That's what he said. That's what, he, that's what this woman told police. However, they didn't write it that way. But that's what he said. She said they were at her house, and he says he is frustrated. So they're at her apartment, this co-worker, or house. I don't know if it's a house or an apartment. And he was frustrated because he is tired and doesn't sleep. And that's because Maddie sleeps with them. And she was taken, she was taken aback by that and asked him what he meant by allowing her to sleep in the same bed because she was around 11 or 12 years old. She told Stefan she is a big kid and tried to reason with him and wanted him to at least say mom was between her and him on the bed, you know, making sure that it was you know, Stefan, Jen, then Maddie. But Stefan Stern said no. Maddie wants to cuddle with him because of his body warmth. And co-worker thought that was weird and told him he shouldn't be doing that and that it was dumb. So I, I, I do have to say, like, if Jennifer was allowing, when they were all three sleeping together, and she's laying in bed there, and she's sort of allowing Stefan Stearns to cuddle with her daughter, 
that makes you think a little less of Jen for sure. Because wouldn't you want him to be cuddling with you, your, your boyfriend? So again, the coworker thought that was weird and told him he shouldn't be doing that and that it was dumb. And then she says, you know how some people mean well, but you, but they're just so dumb. They do dumb shit, the co-worker said. Stefan never told the co-worker that he slept alone with Maddie. So she was never uh, aware that there would be some sort of abuse going on because they just all three slept together in the same bed. But she was aware that there was the cuddling with Stefan Stearns. Stefan sounded like it was normal, but she told him it wasn't appropriate at that age. And then Stefan just played dumb. The coworker said that if Stefan had told her that at, that at the beginning, she would have never been with him. Stefan Stern sounded like he often got erections in bed. Coworker was raised to not bring random guys around kids. Yeah, but she doesn't even have kids herself, but she was just raised that way. After the comments about getting a boner, she stopped talking to him immediately. They had conversations on the phone, and she told him not to talk to her at work. After she hung up the call, he then bombarded her with messages and didn't, you know, he didn't use bad words, but said she had a prickly personality. You know, and that's just kind of like, that's just how he talks. You know, he, he's a weird person, man. The words that he uses, um, you know. He seems like he tries to use these words from a long time ago. 86, you know. <laughs> and the cop has to say, what do you mean by 86? <laughs> uh, anyways. She says she used a lot of bad words in the conversation. So she was sitting there cussing at him. And he wasn't using any foul language at all, but she was cussing at him over and over and over again. And she had hoped it would get him to stop messaging her. He then began harassing her at work. It lasted for a few months. He would only harass her when nobody else was around. He would stare at her from afar to intimidate her. Stearns liked to control everybody around him. You know, and then isn't that interesting? Because that's what a lot of his friends would say, too. He liked to be, you know, control the party and be, you know, just keep talking and talking and talking and just say whatever comes to his mind, etc. So it sounds like it's very consistent with what the coworker observed as well. He mentioned that he would go into the shower. So this part here is, gets more disturbing here. Stephen Stearns mentioned that he would go into the shower and but you know Maddie wasn't in the room or Jennifer maybe but but apparently it was just Maddie that he mentioned that's what this coworker says but Maddie wasn't in the room and then he would come out of the shower naked and then Maddie and Jen will be there see i think that's just something he is making up i think he did come out of the shower like that it's kind of like reverse voyeurism he wanted them to see him naked and i think that they were likely in the room already it could be that he knew that they were going to be in the room he just said hey i'll meet you guys in, in the room here and, uh, and then he goes takes a shower and then pretends he didn't realize they were in the room at that time stefan would just claim it was an accident and quickly cover himself up the co-worker would say to him he probably could hear maddie in the room and why not wear a towel, and Stefan would just say, it was an accident, and would just, you know, just made the coworker think he was dumb and not think he was abusing anyone. Yeah, see, that's what Stefan Stearns, it seems like he tries to be like that sometimes. He's obviously, there, there are some things he's dumb about and some things he's intelligent about. I mean, he was really poor at disguising, you know, him driving around, when he had Maddie's body in the vehicle, he spotted on you know, dozens of cameras with her body uh, in the vehicle, moving around. And, you know, he just wasn't very prepared. So he's obviously not a an really intelligent person, but it also could have been that it was 
spur of the moment. He didn't want to kill Maddie, but he, somehow he did because he decided to at a certain point, but hadn't planned it all out. So it wasn't like premeditated. Although there are some elements that make you think that because he borrowed his father's car and phone when he went there that weekend. Yeah, but you, you kind of wonder though, why is Stefan Stearns telling the coworker all of these things? Why is he saying that when he slept in bed, he would get excited? Uh, why is he saying that he'd come out of the shower and they would see him naked? Is he testing the coworker to see if she would be more accepting of some things, you know, almost trying to groom her, you know, just sitting there uh, saying different. I mean, it's just bizarre to me. He, he's probably hoping that she'll be like, ooh, that's so interesting. But it wasn't for her because she's normal. So he did tell this coworker that if she wanted a kid, he would give her a kid. She told him she didn't want to have a kid. She thinks now he just wanted to have sex. Yeah, I mean, that is possible that he was trying to just say, hey, you want to have a kid? But I'm wondering if he was trying to produce another child for future grooming. I mean, I, I don't know what he was trying to do here. The coworker thinks it was just for him to have sex. The coworker has been traumatized by this and has had to see a psychologist. I asked the coworker if Stefan could be very persuasive, and she said yes. The coworker wondered why Jen allowed Stefan and Maddie to be in the same bed together. She said if her boyfriend came out of the shower, so the coworker said if my boyfriend ever came out of the shower, and if she had a kid and he didn't have a towel on, she would say if you ever do that again, you are out. How do we know what the truth of what Stefan Stearns actually did compared to what he tells people? And I think that's kind of the main thing here is how do we know what Stefan Stearns is telling the coworker, various coworkers about Jen and their relationship, etc., has any truth to it at all, or is it just something that suits his needs and what he wants at the time? I really don't understand why, though, he's telling these intimate things to the coworker about you know being at home and having Maddie in the bed, etc. That part seems strange that he would actually think that somebody else would be interested, but maybe he, he thought he'd been with this girl for a while and he'd start throwing this stuff in there. Because remember, she left right after he started telling her that. So maybe he thought after three or four months, the trust was built up and she would just think it was interesting. He was hoping she would think it was sexy or something. And it just wasn't, Stefan, because she's normal. You're not. The coworker said it wasn't a one-time thing regarding not having a towel and that it happened a few times and it wasn't an accident. And I wrote down my notes, just uh, like I said before, like he's almost trying to be a voyeur to himself, of himself. He wants them to see him naked and pretend it was an accident. Coworker feels guilty because she could have said something but wasn't sure he was abusing anyone, so advised it by, you know, some other coworker advised her uh, her job might be in jeopardy by putting out an allegation that she couldn't prove. So all she knew was that all three of them were sleeping together. So I can understand why she didn't get to the point where she was going to go to authorities on that because, you know, in some families that might seem normal to people. Uh, it seems like, though, what might cross that line is when she was told that he was snuggling up with Maddie. I think that might have changed some people's minds. Stefan was living with them even after they broke up, she said. So we, we've heard that, that they broke up and he would still be living with them. But how do we really know that they were broken up? Jennifer never seems to say that. She never says ex-boyfriend. She never says anything like that. She says her partner, her boyfriend. I'm wondering if he's telling all these people that because he's out there trying to have sexual activities with other people. And I put down a note, did Jen know they were broken up? What do you guys think? The coworker asked Stefan to spend the night one night. And Stefan said, oh, no, 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 no. I have to go, I have to go home. 
they won't go to bed without me. So this is why you think that he's lying about not being in a relationship. He has to go home so they will go to sleep, he said. So was Jen actually aware that they were seeing other people at this time? Or is he saying this because he wants to go home and be with Maddie? What do you think in the comments? The coworker says she doesn't know for certain if they were broken up. That is just what he told her and told everyone at work. See, you don't have to ask Stern's things. He will just share things. And I, my note was probably tells people what he thinks they want to hear. This coworker said that Stearns wanted to pretend he was a really good guy and wanted to be loved by people. Had to be everybody's friend. And that's sort of, that sounds just like the interviews that we did. The coworker says that if Stearns was still dating Jen during their time, then he fooled her. So I asked, do you think he was still just literally dating Jen? And she said, well, if they were, um, he totally fooled me. When he said they were broken up, they spent a lot of time together playing board games. All the months she knew Stefan, Jen wasn't working, she said. She wondered why Stefan was hanging out with Maddie during some days, taking her to amusement parks, etc. Why didn't Jen just go with them? Stefan said Jen opened the relationship, and then Jen had a girlfriend and would spend all her time with the girlfriend. My note says, is this true or Stefan's excuse as to why he was with Maddie? So maybe he's trying to explain why he's with Maddie so often because she's busy with her girlfriend and isn't hanging out with Maddie, so he's doing it. Then, according to this coworker, when Stefan said he was seeing other people after a few months, and then Jennifer wanted to close the relationship again. So Stefan says, well, you know, um, after I told her I was seeing other people, she says, oh, no, no, let's close up the relationship again. He wanted to see other people, and Jen didn't, and that's why they broke up. So he's claiming that they broke up because he wanted to see other people, and Jen didn't. I'm wondering if she actually caught him or realized that he was cheating on her and maybe broke up with him. But do we really even know that they ever broke up? Is there any evidence out there that they broke up other than words from Stefan Stearns? Stefan tried to get Maddie to go uh, to the co-worker's house at one point and play board games. The co-worker said no, but they could meet at a park and play a game. She didn't think it was appropriate to have Maddie at her house. Uh, this coworker has no sympathy for Jen as, and is waiting for her to get charged. She thinks there is no way Jen couldn't have known. But she isn't Jen, so she has no way of knowing why she couldn't have known. But, you know, I got to admit, allowing Maddie to sleep snuggled up with Stefan in the same bed is weird. But maybe she thought she was close enough where she could, you know, oversee the situation and trusted him over those seven years of time. And we obviously know now that Jen allowed Stephen Stearns and Maddie to sleep together alone sometimes. She also said Stephen Stearns used his dad's bank account. She thinks if he was selling CSAM material on the web, he could transfer it into his dad's account. I mean, that's interesting, right? I remember we have the telegram at, um, what was it, 11.49 in the evening of the party, and then Maddie is killed overnight. You know, between 11.49 and 7.35, she's killed. That's the time range in which time she was killed, unless you believe it's possible that she's still alive in the vehicle, but completely intoxicated by drugs and is not going to awake. And then later on, he took her life. That would make him, while he's driving around, it would be a little safer for him to be driving around because you could just say, oh, wow, I didn't realize she passed out. I thought she was sleeping. So, I mean, that's just a possibility. I think it's most likely that she wasn't alive in the vehicle when he was driving around with her. So this is absolutely uh, crazy information. 
Uh, let me know in the comments what you think. Do you think that Jennifer should have realized something else was going on? Do you think that Jennifer actually asked for an open relationship? Or do you think that um, Stephen Stern just makes up a lot of this stuff to be able to date somebody? Because, like, you know, if he's going to date somebody, he's not going to say, hey, I'm, gonna, I'm dating somebody else. You want to date too? He has to say stuff, oh, it's an open relationship, etc. cetera. I, I think he lies a lot to get what he wants. And I think he just tells people what he wants them to think, to build a narrative for himself, to start, you know, building a persona or perception of himself towards everybody else so that they think a certain way about him and that allows him to achieve his goals. Uh, my opinion is I think Stephen Stearns is a classic predator and preyed on Jennifer who had a child uh, but it seems like Jennifer also is you know didn't make a lot of good decisions in here but I could see that over time see what I the way I look at this I know it's not popular, but I think Stefan Stearns groomed Jennifer and Maddie at the same time to make certain things seem normal and that he was just a father type figure to Maddie and everything just seemed normal to them. And she even says she watched out for stuff like that early on, but as time went by, she trusted Stefan Stearns. Uh, I don't know what you guys think about that, but I'd rather have your comments about what you heard regarding this new interview information. All right, everybody, that is today's video. I hope you guys appreciated the video. I think it had some interesting information in it by the ex-coworker of Stefan Stearns. I hope that uh, you have some thoughts and comments that you can put throughout the video. So while you're listening, leave a comment in the comment section. And hit that like button for me, though. I'd really need you guys to hit the like button and then share the video and then subscribe to my channel. All right, so thank you all very much for watching. And as I always say, until next time, be safe out there.